so here's the finished uh, case. Well, rather uh, cleaned out. Um, no more dust bunnies. Things are looking presentable. I haven't removed the stickers from the side panels yet. I'll be doing those later. Uh, however, it's time to start getting this thing put back together. Um, I fixed all the fans. None of them make any noise. Um, we're not going to be able to reach in there and spin that one, but it's it's silent. This should sound a lot better. Yeah, it's it's looking real clean. It's looking real good. It's I'm getting a lot of nostalgia vibes because this was very similar to the case that I had. It's just this this computer. Like I said, it's just nostalgia overload. And I don't know if I want to get rid of this one. This this one might just be a ongoing project. Let me set this up here. The motherboard. I've cleaned it up, got rid of the dust, all the dust bunnies in it, reseated uh, the cooler, a new thermal paste, and then this guy here, the little chipset cooler, I don't know if you could tell in the video earlier, um, but it really didn't sit well. It had a lot of rot, like you could push it all the way until it touched here. The, the back clips down here didn't really hold on, and that was because the fan wire ran inside and then out the front here and then clipped onto the um, fan header and it just didn't let it it just didn't let the little plastic clips hold on to the uh, heatsink very well and I don't know if that's how it was from the factory and I don't even really know if this fan is factory I looked up a picture of the P60 Deluxe um, or at least I looked up uh, eBay auctions for it and none of them included this fan so I want to do a little bit more research and find out if this fan is aftermarket or if it came with the p6t deluxe i'll let you know probably you know like right up here some text anyways it it should be quieter it shouldn't rattle around as much and hopefully just be a nicer overall user experience as far as vibrations and noise go um the ram you know, i didn't have to do really any i, I did take it out and, and reseed it and make made sure everything was uh you know honky dory with that you know um other than that i usually remove northbridge coolers and read uh you know clean the old stuff off of them that may be a project for another day simply because this 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 middle part uses screws on the back and this uh cooler here and this cooler here well underneath the underneath the fan and this up here I'll use push pins and I don't want to ruin anything. I don't have any replacement push pins. I don't want to do anything that could uh, jeopardize being able to put this back into use. So maybe, uh, like I said, one day I'll go through and I'll clean that up. I usually do, but I'm, I'm just afraid of breaking any of these little uh, push pins. So let's get this motherboard installed and slap everything back together and make sure it still boots up and we'll get an OS on here. So when we first took a look at this case uh, computer, if you remember, the GPU was mounted all the way down here, forcing the fan, it was like, I don't know, maybe half an inch off of the, the power supply. And that can't be good for airflow. So we're gonna mount it up here on the top where we can get a, at least the best chance at airflow that it can get and hopefully keep it a little bit happier. And there's plenty of room up there. I wonder I wonder if this used to have SLI or no. What are these, these were Crossfire? I don't know. So now all that's left is really to run the wires and try to tidy it up. Um, this case really doesn't have a whole lot of options for cable management. It had these goofy things 
threaded into it. Uh, if you remember, they were all along here and the wires ran up, well, some of the wires ran up through them. Most of them were just bunched up down here. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do about that. Hopefully I can make it look a little nicer. And if I can't, I don't know, maybe a new case is in the work for this thing. Just finished with my cable management. I know it looks like it's a mess. It's definitely not my proudest uh, cable managing job, but it is what it is. This, this case doesn't really offer cable management. That's really not a thing um, that a lot of cases uh, took into consideration when uh, they were building them way back, you know, 2000. Well, this is going to be about the 2006 era. Um, one thing I really just couldn't get away from, and I, I don't have any uh, fan extensions or Y splitters or anything, is going to be this back case fan here. The cable runs over top of the RAM to my chassis fan connector. Um, it's just not long enough to run up behind it or, or anything like that. It, like I said, it is what it is. It's gonna work. It's not gonna get in the way of anything. And I, I have a feeling this computer is gonna evolve over time um, because I, while building it and, and, and doing things here, I just, I can't imagine getting rid of it actually because I just, I really like the X58 platform. I, if you can't tell by now, it's 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 one of the computers I regret selling. So here it is, basically fell back into my lap. The only difference being is the graphics card. Um, I had a 250 GTS in mine, and then I upgraded it to a 460. Yeah, I'm I'm excited that this one fell back. You know, came into my position, almost the same specs. Um, in fact, if I really wanted to get nostalgic, I could put in, where is it? There it is. I actually have a Palette GTS 250 that, I mean, I, I could complete the ensemble and um, this would be almost identical to what I had before. Uh, super excited to plug this in and see how it runs. Uh, I still have to take the stickers off the case, and I think I might do that before I plug it in. So, see you when it's clean. Uh, speaking of graphics cards or GPUs, I'm um, talking about I have that GTX uh, or GTS 250. Um, I also actually have my old GTX 460, the 768 megabyte variant. Um, I have had to replace the fan over the years because the other one, the the wires literally fell off and I'm not exactly sure how that happened but um yeah here it is in all its glory so maybe maybe we'll go down that road again that'll be fun also I wanted to point out that um through cable management and uh, you know cleaning this up a bit I did eliminate this mess which powered most of the fans in this computer when I got it and the hard disk drives now you know instead of plugging in with these these are actually sas connectors so it's weird that the person who built this used it on these regular um sata drives um i replaced it with just you know regular sata uh cables and powering these directly off of the sata powered um well there's a molex but you know the sata connections on the power supply so I never really liked um, stuff that, you know, adapts uh, SATA to Molex. So odds are these would never have a problem. But I have heard about, you know, the adapters uh, burning up, if not setting the whole computer on fire. So we definitely don't want that. Um, that would be, you know, negative. So... Okay, I know I said it like 10 times already, but I'm going to pull those stickers off and then we'll power this thing up. Enough rambling. All right, it cleaned up. It's looking sharp. That is, dare I say, like the epitome of mid-2000s computer, custom computer. No fancy see-through side panels. You're going to have a little little LED light there, little accent, no RGB, 
just an uncontrollable blue light. The way God intended. All right, let's see. I got it plugged in. I think I got the switch on. Sounds quieter for sure. You can see a lot more of that blue. Oh, something's a little unhappy. Well, it quieted out. Oh, right, the CMOS date and time of the battery must be dead. Remember when I first booted this up and got into the BIOS and I said this? Oh, the battery must have died. Well, of course we couldn't boot into Windows. Uh, it's a RAID setup and I didn't bother to change the uh, SATA setting from IDE to RAID. So now that we have, we got into Windows Vista Ultimate something. I don't know. It's This, this one's really set up weird. The, there's these weird borders around everything, like thick borders. The star button has a weird, I don't know, like shadow or double star button. And everything just looks weird. Um, let me, uh, Windows Edition, Vista Eternity 2964. See, I don't even know what that means. That's weird. So this computer was built by somebody who probably had Rackers International Team. I don't know. I'll look into that. Um, anyway, so that means we could have tested this earlier while it was, you know, dirty, pre-cleaning, and that's kind of disappointing that we didn't get to do that, but that is what it is. So I'm going to run a few benchmarks and we'll see how it runs. All right, so first up we're going to run Cinemedge. We'll see how well that uh, Intel cooler does. and. Judging by our idle temperatures, I don't know, something seems, um, something seems wrong. It doesn't seem like it would be running that hot. I don't remember my 920 or idling at 50 degrees. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I got plenty of other coolers on that I can throw on this, so. As always, it takes a few minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, I usually run this three times just to make sure that um, the temperatures are in check. However, after the second run, we hit almost on all cores 100 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna put a stop to that. Um, we ended up with a 428. I don't remember what my old 920 did, but that seems right. Um, however, I don't like how hot it's getting. That um, big chunk of metal right there should be able to cool it but it's not. So, um, when I reseeded it, I made sure everything was flat and, and smooth. Um, sometimes you find little burrs on the power or the cooling surfaces, like from the IHS or something like that. So I cleaned everything up. It sits flat. So I don't know. I don't know why it's running so, so hot. But like I said, I got a, I have a bunch of coolers I could put on there. So I'm sure they're better than this. Uh, first generation Intel, you know, sort of the old school type of cooler. Uh, trying to tackle this uh, high running CPU problem. I pulled the cooler off, repasted it, cleaned it, made sure everything was sitting straight. Uh, I don't think it got any better than the last time I installed it. Nothing's improved. I ran this twice and we got to 100 degrees. 50% of the way through the second uh, Cinebench run. So the only thing I can think of is the fan is only spinning up to, well, it's at 1,259 right now. And I thought these CPU, the Intel coolers did something like 3,000. I don't know for sure. However, it seems to be cooling down fairly quickly. Uh, I'm gonna have to look online and see if this is a, a known issue or something like that. I'm probably gonna upgrade the cooler anyways. I, I, who knows? So as always, the preferred method of testing uh, the GPU performance and temperatures is have a benchmark. So we're gonna run the benchmark. It takes a few minutes, so I will see you then. 
All right, we finished up with that uh, run. Uh, FPS 24.5, score 6.16, min 13.8. Oh, minimum 13.8, that's kind of surprising. I thought it would be lower. And max of 52. Not bad for a one gigahertz card. Um, and not even a high uh, powered card, you know, ATI HD 48, what is it there, 4850? So, like the mid-range card, so. Oh yeah, and the highest we get on the GPU, 70 degrees. Um, CPU, of course, didn't, you know, didn't go up. Uh, Heaven doesn't really, you know, tax the CPU much, so. All right, so that's another one from the $50 uh, computer haul that has a clean bill of health. Runs quiet. It's clean, it's presentable. No more stickers all over it. You can see the light through the front. Look at that, that blue light. That is early 2000s or mid 2000s goodness right there. So, oh yeah, I could probably, oh, what is that, is that paint? I'll take care of that later. Anyways, um, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, maybe comment, maybe subscribe. Um, I could really use it. We're almost at 100 subscribers, which is awesome. Um, other than that, if you didn't like it, go ahead and put a thumbs down. It still helps. Um, evidently, I hear other people say that. Anyways, um, I've got a few plans in store for this one. I'm, I'm probably going to keep this one. I, I really like, I like it. I like it. I like the X58. I like uh, it, it's so close to my first real computer that I built. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna keep this one, and I'm gonna have a few ideas for the future and a few videos we can do uh, coming up here shortly. So see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.